this is what I'm going to feel bad about talking about because it's not a difficult level. You just have to know what to do. Um, and when I was doing recording this, I had not played this for, I don't know, 30 years. So, or maybe 25 years, I don't know, a long, long time. Uh, so I was figuring it out again, really, for the first time. The problem with figuring this out for the first time is the guards give you a time limit. You gotta, you gotta keep moving or else they trap you. So if you stop to think, uh, you might lose. Especially because it's possible you might put yourself in like a dead end or something like, with the guards. Uh, so whatever. From these pillars, you can get the two closest to the pillar. From the thing near the river, you can get um, the other three in two different ways. From the elevator, you can get two. Second from the middle and second from the bottom. That was just clumsy. And these last two, there's some stairs that let you get them. The top side of the map is not the same, but I mean, it's the same in spirit, but it is not the same set of actions. The pillar path gets us only the very most bottom one. The stairs in the center of the group, oof, the stairs in the center of the group are more obvious and more significant. They're also placed in the center, not at the bottom, so they give access to a lot of them. Most we could have actually just, I think, walked up onto, but I'm not very clever. Now, so how do we get those last five at the top? This doesn't seem to be working. How about on the other side? Oh, there's just some stairs on the top. The next question, of course, is how to get back across the river, because it's all pushing us up. Except for one tiny little spot. That one. This level is um, an interesting concept. They tell you the title, Lead the Guard. Let's see if you can figure out what that means, given 30 seconds or so. Okay, so the real answer is some of those holes in the middle of the water groups are death if you jump into them. They are a death by falling. Whereas other holes are shallower and you can jump into them. The, the guard has the same 
general movement rules as you do. So if you kind of position yourself so the guard would want to cut through the hole to get to you, then he might do so. And if he does, you know you can safely jump into that one. But if he very steadfastly refuses to jump into that hole, um, sometimes you can tell because your positioning is really good and you're sure. Sometimes he actually backs up away from uh, the player because his logic is something like, I should move towards you, not left or right. Oh, wait, I can't. And then if there is a way for him to back up, sometimes he does. Um, that's a very clear sign because they would never walk away from you uh, if there was a valid hole between the two of you. But once you've figured that out, this level becomes kind of boring. So I'm probably going to speed it up. So this level's pretty tall, Mount Neverest. Uh, you get a definite, I don't know, it's definitely a mountain. Uh, first things first, better go collect the cat. The obvious question about this level is what things can you jump on to jump to other things. You can spend a lot of time trying to jump up from the bottom of the map and getting nowhere. Um, I'm not gonna reproduce that. So mainly I remembered there's a way to get up past the initial set of uh, pillars. But I didn't really remember where it was. So what I'm doing here is fishing around for, you know, where's that, where's that pathway up? Or at least where's that step to get going? And there it is. There's that, there's that ledge. I can see I can walk up onto the next row of, of items. So from here, we can start jumping around and collecting keys. It's a little misleading because there's more um, horizontal rows of keys than there are vertical rows. It looks like they're all square, but no, there's more. There, I found another little notch to continue my climb. There's more rows than there are columns. It's not just concentric squares. And if you misread that, there's the next notch, by the way. If you misread um, the concentric arrangement of keys, then um, you find yourself jumping the wrong way to your death. All 
I do notice I missed one back at the bottom. And there I am trying to go for it and failing. So let's work our way back up to where we were. And then go to the next uh, slice of keys. You can see there I was thinking, oh right, and there'll be a new ring of keys, but no, it's just a new row of keys. So where's the next, where's the next uh, leg up? And suddenly I notice there's a little tab right here. On to the next square of keys. I think I can see the next one already. I think it's right there. Yep. And this one is subtle. So I take a while to find it. I haven't figured it out, so I'm exploring the back side. And you can go places uh, climbing up the back, but I don't think any of them are actually the way you want to go. And if you're playing this honestly, if you're, if you're figuring it out for the first time, rather, this is the typical experience you would have. Like, can I jump this way? And then you end up jumping down the entire mountain to climb up again. So it is true that a lot of missteps are, don't lead to death. There's like typically a way down, but uh, Many missteps live, lead to a lot of wasted time. And there's the insight. You can see this, the, the pillar in the center um, is higher than the pillars next to it. And here I found a way to get one, two more keys rather. I thought it was a breakthrough. But it's not the breakthrough. Having rested well, um, I have now figured this how to continue from here. And the first step is to get these two keys, which are their own tier. It's not clear they're separate from the ring around, the square around. And then doing that little side step, I just didn't talk while I was doing. Um, we can get to the uh, correct height to pick up this square. 
of keys. And then there's a little hidden continue, which is nice. And this is a fake out. That is not the way to advance. But that is. Now all I have to do is get off, which is um, not that difficult. There we go. That will take a little editing because I made so many false starts, but. And this level by the name and by the way the the, uh, the um, level built is fairly clearly one of those illusion levels. So it you know it presents a, a picture of a bunch of uniform squares and of course they are not uniform. We can go between them, for example. And then there are hidden stairways and stuff like that. Uh, once we get on top, once I get on top of the squares, there's a lot I can collect on top. Uh, but in a way, oops. <laughs> in a way, um, the harder part is how to get down to collect uh, the keys on the edges here and of course to get to the exit. Uh, it's tricky if you're on a set of squares that has, um, oh here's maybe a way down but I can't figure out how to get further down from here. Maybe I can at least use it as a path to get further up. Hmm, where can I go from here? Uh, no obvious paths down. Oh. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Here's a way down. There we go. Now I got one of the ones on the lower ground. Which is as I said, kind of one of the harder things to figure out, or... I am not sure if I'm going to make this jump. That was interesting. I don't think I can get anywhere from here. Oh, this feels maybe promising. Uh... Oh, <laughs> this is gonna go. To the... This is gonna go to the right. And to this right, maybe. Hmm. I was seeing if I could get anywhere else. But that might be that might be it. And 
And I guess this is the way out of that trench. There's another path down. And I guess this, this alley is just to fool me into thinking, and, well, maybe it's just to make a gap between squares. I am pretty unclear if this is a new location. Okay, back on the top. This is one block with a lot of height. Oh. And that's the way down over there. Let's go get this key. I'm pretty sure this is straightforward to jump to. That was not straightforward, but I've already Explored that one. Mm. Miss jumped. Oh, let's explore the other stairway that we can get to. Where is it? I thought I just reversed my direction there. Oh no, this other stairway, other stairway. Okay, so we're left with the last challenges. How to get the key in the upper left and how to get out. Oh, I just jumped down by accident, but... Um... Is this likely to get me to the left? I don't think so. I think I've already been down here. <laughs> Look at that. That's unexpected. Um, oh. Um, okay, maybe I'm not going to go get to the left from here. So, um, I think I found that the key in the upper right is acquirable by this long path across the top, which 
felt like it had to do something. The main obstacle... Hmm, maybe I'm wrong? There's the... There's a, um, waterfall here that kind of screws it up for you. Okay, and so we've avoided the waterfall, and that means I can continue to the upper left and cut through here, which is really not obvious. Okay, now the waterfall is how we leave this area. I mean, water rise, I guess. It's not really a waterfall because it goes up. Oh, that's not what I meant to do, but it worked out. And there's the way to the lower left. Complete with a cat, who I wish would just go to one of the many, many dead ends. There we go. Oof! That was full of mistakes. Okay, so this one... It's like a weird... The water movement has an effect because it prevents you from doing things, but you can jump. But, um... I think some of the ways you jump, you die. <laughs> uh, if we end up in a low spot, like you can hear the note go down, then we can't go into the water, so we know it's a dead end. Well, we can go in the water, but only if it wants to accept us. I don't know. Whereas here, I can go into uh, pushback water. Oh, I guess so from here. Uh, well. Huh. That's weird to have two, start, two restarts right next to each other. Okay, frankly, frankly, this level seems dumb. <laughs> I think it's just a really dumb maze. Okay, I'm skipping this one. Not interested. Okay, this is way more interesting to me. And I'm going to try to figure this out live. Oh, this says guards. I thought he was on the upper level for some reason. It says guards that are going to chase me from the start. Only 12 keys. Right now I'm trying to map out how I'm going to go, where I, where I need to go le next, which I think is on the upper level to the left. Oh, well I also could do this lower space in the middle. Now are there hidden things that I need to know about? Nope, not here. Not here. Nor here, nor here. Okay, so I think there's going to be droopy spots as I try to make my way. Yep, there's one. So, oh. Right, jump from here. And just go the long way around. Hmm. 
Now, is it going to let me get these? Oh, it is. But not that one. <laughs> okay, in fact... I can proceed, I just jump over it. I just can't get the key from there. So, A. Can I get this key? Yes. Oh, another one. Another little droopy experience. That one feels dumb because it doesn't really change anything and the amount of backtracking for it is silly. Well, that, that spot ended up mattering even though I think it's dumb. Should have been more aggressive in coming to this restart location. How do we get back there? Oh, there's hidden stairs. These stairs are not hidden, but I don't really want to deal with the guard while trying to... Well, they're not entirely hidden. I wanted to go to the upper right, and upper right was apparently the edge of the map. Oh, there's also these. How wide is this? Oh, it's too wide, and you can't jump, so I'm not going to be able to jump there. Okay, so what I need to do to get the, that key on the... The lip is jump like this way. Conveniently, that takes the guard far away from the other stairs, so I can go over here and go up them. Oh. Now I can get this key, and uh, it's coming at the wrong time. And this key, yeah, I didn't think I was going to be able to stay there, but A to restart from the restart point. Is there even a cat here? I don't even know where it is. Oh, it is there. Okay, it's not worth dying for the guard to try to get the cat, so 